this is Sudhakar Sharma. In this session, we are going to discuss about TypeScript. TypeScript is very extensively being used in various development process for small and large scale applications. So, TypeScript is primarily being used in technologies like Angular. So, we are going to discuss complete about TypeScript and its functionalities. So, in this session, I am going to give you first an overview of what exactly TypeScript is, so that in the next session, we will discuss about the functionalities, implementations and what the TypeScript language have. So, technically, what are the basic issues that you already have with the JavaScript? So, small, some important basic issues with JavaScript is uh, JavaScript of course is a language which can be used at client side and server side now, but JavaScript is not strictly typed. It does not support schema based objects and uh, the objects are not strictly typed. So, due to this different types of values can be rendered into a specific declaration. Another important is JavaScript lacks the complete features of object oriented. It supports object oriented imperative and functional programming, but uh, it is not complete object oriented. So, due to this several issues related to extensibility, reusability concerns. So, technically TypeScript you can say that it is superset to JavaScript. TypeScript originally maintained and uh, developed by Microsoft. TypeScript internally designed by Microsoft for its language called C Sharp. TypeScript's intention is to make the C Sharp and uh, .NET based applications to easily interact with uh, the browsers, so that developers can use TypeScript, it transcompiles into JavaScript. Now, it is extensively being used in various client side technologies. So, Angular is one of that which uses TypeScript as the basic language. So, let us see what exactly TypeScript is. So, technically defining TypeScript is JavaScript that scales. So, TypeScript is a, is a language and it is a strictly superset to JavaScript. That means, you can simply say that how you use JavaScript in a strict mode in the same way TypeScript. And not only that, TypeScript is uh, having so many features which we are going to discuss about that. First important thing what you have to know about TypeScript is TypeScript is an open source programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. It is a strictly syntactical superset of JavaScript and adds optional static typing to the language. TypeScript is designed to develop a large scale of applications that transcompiles into JavaScript. TypeScript is the superset of JavaScript and existing all JavaScript programs are valid in TypeScript. You can use the complete JavaScript library in TypeScript. So, the key features of TypeScript when compared to JavaScript, it supports complete object oriented programming. TypeScript is strictly typed, it has schema based objects and uh, TypeScript ability is to transcompile into JavaScript which is cross platform. So, TypeScript is complete open source and it is cross platform. So, the key features of TypeScript we will discuss according to the versions. TypeScript uh, may be used to develop JavaScript applications for both client side and server side. So, TypeScript is used with HTML client side and with uh, technologies like Node.js server side. TypeScript first appeared in uh, 2012 October and uh, the TypeScript initial release is 0.8. Now, the latest TypeScript version is 3.7 till date. So, what exactly TypeScript comes with? 
actually TypeScript is a complete language used for both client side and server side environments and the TypeScript transcompiles client side into JavaScript which supports the features of ES5 and ES6. So TypeScript is actually one of the alternative chosen by Angular team to use in Angular environment because Google Angular team was trying with the uh, Ed script which completely concentrates on annotations and introspection. It completely concentrates on the annotations and introspection. Now TypeScript is provided as a solution for the Ed script. So Google Angular team has adapted this TypeScript as a language for Angular. So what are the basic features of TypeScript? and how these features work we can understand after knowing about the basic TypeScript architecture. Let us take a look at the TypeScript architecture. The basic TypeScript architecture comprises of so many components. So actually TypeScript is completely designed in TypeScript. Several languages take support of other languages to handle interaction with the hardware services and OS services. Now TypeScript is completely designed in TypeScript and it can handle all the interactions. So TypeScript core components you can see TypeScript has a core compiler. This core TypeScript compiler is responsible for translating the language TypeScript it is responsible for compiling the language times TypeScript. So it identifies the core architecture of the application. It executes the application. It scans and identifies the output and input operations. It converts the types and uh, it checks the types of specific references and emits the results. So the base TypeScript compiler is going to compile the TypeScript program you have written. If there are any syntactical errors, structural errors or uh, any reference errors, then the TypeScript core compiler will identify them. And TypeScript core compiler will get the reference of all your syntaxes and functions from a language service, which is services.ts. So actually, the TypeScript compiler. This is the core TypeScript compiler. This is the core TypeScript compiler. This is the core TypeScript compiler. The core TypeScript compiler is uh, responsible for compiling and processing your TypeScript program. And all the references for the TypeScript core compiler comes from a language service. It comes from a language service. It comprises of all the factory that is required for uh, the TypeScript environment. So the functions are picked up, the references are picked up from the language service and it is compiled by the core TypeScript compiler. And there is a standalone TypeScript compiler which is responsible for translating the TypeScript language into JavaScript. So the purpose of the standalone TypeScript compiler, the standalone TypeScript compiler is the translating the TypeScript into JavaScript, which is understandable to browsers. So browser directly cannot understand TypeScript. It needs to be transcompiled into JavaScript, which is done by the standalone compiler. So you are writing the TypeScript. It is transcompiled into JavaScript and uh, hosting the application TypeScript application compiling, processing, executing and generating the output all these are maintained by a TypeScript server. It is responsible for hosting the TypeScript programs, compiling, processing and executing and returning the results. The environment setup for entire TypeScript is managed and maintained by a TypeScript server. VS Shim provides a language neutral options which will provide a managed code library by using a managed language service which makes your the TypeScript programs understandable across various platforms. 
that means TypeScript becomes cross-platform by using the managed language services and VS Shim. VS Shim makes its cross-language uh, compilation and process. And uh, managed code makes your TypeScript understandable across various operating system services. And of course, editors, nothing but the configuration of TypeScript for various editors such as WebStrom, as Visual Studio Code, Sublime, and all those editors is supported in the TypeScript architecture. So the basic TypeScript architecture comprises of a core compiler, a standalone compiler, language service, TypeScript server, VS Shim, and managed language service and editor configurations. So these are all the basic environment of TypeScript. Now we are going to learn how to compile, run, and process the TypeScript programs and set up the environment for TypeScript. Thank you.